Hi everybody. Happy Wednesday. This is so dumb that I'm even making this video. It's like actually kind of annoying that I'm here having to do this. But here we go. I try to do everything I can to keep drama off and away from this channel. But at a certain point it crosses the line from internet drama to legitimate harassment, cyber stalking, cyber bullying, um, conspiracy. People are like conspiring against me, which is hilarious. Good luck. Y'all can't cancel me. Trust me. If I was going to be canceled, I'd have done it to myself already. But, here we go. Long story short, I was a part of a Discord for like two weeks surrounding a YouTube channel known as That Surprise Witness. There's another channel under that creator known as BJ Investigates. Long story short, they were talking about the, the part that interested me was they were talking about Bam Margera and his whole in and out of rehab, going to, to Cali, Arizona, Florida, rehab, 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 all this stuff, right? Well, the lady that was in charge of his conservatorship is sketchy and has had at least one person that I can confirm pass away well under her care, under her supervision, whatever. So I'm like, whoa, I'm a skateboarder. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I can relate to BAM on a lot of levels. So I joined this stupid fucking Discord that High Priestess Steph started. Wouldn't you know it, a bunch of people got jealous because that surprise witness was starting to notice what Steph was doing. Um, Bryn was in a lot of her videos, so she was getting a little bit of shine for it. Um, and several others. But then one day, the people that just wanted to worship the ground that BJ, that surprise witness, walks on, got angry, got jealous, started fucking harassing everybody. Okay, that's how the internet works. Sure. Now, High Priestess Steph freaks out, she says she's gonna like quit everything, but then she doesn't, and then she tries to pass her Discord on to other people, but then she doesn't. Then we find out she's using Xenon Bot to clone the entire Discord and copy and paste everything which is fucking sketchy in and of itself. Then we find out, let me backtrack a little bit. One of that surprise witnesses, mods on her channel, Nola Lola, is one of the people that's jealous and starting to spread rumors and talk a bunch of shit. Which by the way, BJ, if you see this, either you need to get some control back on your social medias or you know this is going on and you're blatantly ignoring it either way it's fucked up so now come to find out this lady bonnie dwyer she goes by this mama on youtube she has a bam and dahlia account on youtube and on instagram she has like 45 twitter names a bunch of reddit names um, this lady straight up docked someone under an account called adorable army 50 and then claimed that she spent all weekend trying to get this post taken down so she could be the hero and everybody would love her look she's been harassing a bunch of us 
there's a little group of us that did become friends through High Priestess Steph's bullshit fucking Discord. And we've stayed in contact, and, like, we're friends, man. Made some friends. Look at me go. Well, this Bonnie Dwyer lady is just harassing all of us, trying to say that a couple of us are, um... What did she say? Limited capability, right? They're not mentally all there. Trying to say that myself and Bryn are scamming them. Which, okay. You can ask anyone. I don't just ask people for money. In fact, instead of super chats on this channel, I would much, much rather you go buy some merch. So you at least get something for the money you spend. So whatever. I'm this unhinged fucking lunatic that's a danger to everybody in the entire planet. Um, my friends are of limited mental capability and being taken advantage of. Um, it's just been... It's been so much, you guys. Over well over a month now but she really roped me specifically into it when my grandfather passed away so a couple of weeks now um she's been reported to like the right people know what's going on let's just say that um and we've all been reporting her shit on youtube and on instagram over and over and over and over trying to essentially trying to get her fucking harassment channel taken down because that's all it is now this lady Bonnie had contacted Rachel Miss Chronic Chronic everybody knows Miss Chronic Chronic Rachel Raw Truth whatever she goes by these days threw a fucking hissy fit because I did one podcast. A podcaster did a podcast? <sighs> the audacity. So Rachel's talking to this fucking lady and I'll put screenshots in here to verify all of this. Rachel's saying how we're scammers and she apparently she warned this Bonnie lady about me, whatever that means. Blah, 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 blah. Here's what I'm saying. I'm tired of it. Like, I've already moved on with my life. I'm just trying to do the channel, trying to have some fun, trying to be creative, do the things I do. And then today... I see she's at it again, calling me deranged and unhinged and saying I can't keep Bam Margera and this other lady Dahlia's name out of my mouth, which, how many times have I talked about that? And when I have talked about that, has it not been in the context of addiction recovery slash mental health? So, I'm making this video today to ask you guys, the Carney Army. I'm going to be leaving the links to her channels in the description. Please, guys, please go mass report this channel. I don't like deplatforming people. I'm not about that. But at this point, all this lady is using her channel for is to harass myself and my friends. And it's getting fucking ridiculous to the point where multiple people have filed legitimate complaints. I can't really talk about that too much because, you know, but it, yeah, this lady's stalking, harassing. Rachel's a part of it. Some other people that I'm not at liberty to name right now are a part of it. And it's getting fucking well over the line. To the point where they're bringing children into it. 
they're trying to bring people's families into it. Like, it's... It's gross as fuck. And it all trails back to that shit that Rachel pulled on the Free From Fetters Grove channel. Now, I will say, full transparency, I appreciate Free From Fetters Grove. Um, he did inform me that he took all that shit down. Appreciate it, but we're still dealing with the aftermath of that. This is a perfect example of what happens when you fucking harass people on the internet and then it's there for everyone to see and then the next time somebody doesn't like me which I'm a pretty cool guy I'm pretty easy to get along with my motto is don't be a dick and I won't be a dick back but point being I'm still dealing with Miss Chronic Chronic's fucking hissy fit and she's recruited these little fucking that surprise witness people to just do some mean girls high school bullshit and sit around in their little fucking sewing circle and talk shit about us and spread rumors all over fucking Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, YouTube, all the social media platforms. So like I said, I'm going to be leaving the links to the at least the YouTube channels in this video please guys please go report these people I don't care if you care to leave a nice little comment tell this lady something but ultimately what what I would like to see is a legitimate harassment channel be taken down um Thank you for watching. I don't even want to be making this video, but at this point, I don't know what else to do besides get these fucking channels taken down. Have a good Wednesday, y'all.